Yo, what's going on? I just finished watching the official trailer for The Boys Season 4, so if you haven't seen that, watch it again, you dumb shit. But anyways, this is also boys-related, long-awaited boys-related. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mortal Kombat 1, official Homelander, first look, trailer, dropped on my feed, like, last night. This is the morning of... Fuck what days that aren't uh, days past uh, nights and so much quicker than the days and same clothes you ain't ready for your day shift. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, this is the first look, man. Holy shit, it's been a while. Eh? I mean, it's been a while since we heard anything uh, from uh, MK1. You know, it's effectively been dead for a while. But every time they drop a new character, it gets a resurgence and then dies down again. I don't know what they're doing, bro. They they're fumbling the back so hard because I think with MK1 they have a good thing going, but they're just not optimizing it properly. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the first time video game developers have been doing that. Western video game developers in general catch a lot of L's, right? I'm thinking, namely, the biggest... Okay, I think the biggest L um, company, gaming company, is probably Ubisoft. Yeah. That's not because I've played a lot of their games and I've got a history with it. But it genuinely is because they'd be fumbling the back so many fucking... Not the back, because they make a lot of money, but like... They don't make the fans happy, you know what I'm saying? They don't give a shit about the fans. But anyways... First look, we're going to see how differently he plays from Omni-Man. I know they're two very different characters. I, I feel like a, a lot of this, <clears throat> because you realize that in the show, The Boys, how little we actually see Homelander actually throw a punch. He rarely ever does that. He most of the time just lasers your fucking ass. Like, he's so lazy. You know what I'm saying? So to see him actually have to punch in this one, and maybe even kick. Imagine seeing Homelander kick. That's going to be something. <laughs> Never seen the guy kick before. But I, I can imagine, like, half of his moveset is going to be lasering people, because that's so true to the character. Oh, we got to find out, is it Anthony Starr? I swear to God, if it's not, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it, right? Because his voice for this character is, it, it was perfect. Perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. You know what I'm saying? Who else can play this? Anthony Starr is a uh, phenomenal actor, bro. He's gotta play Homelander, man. You gotta do it, shit! I'd be so mad if he wasn't. It'd be like the whole Terminator situation where in MK11, Arnold didn't reprise his role as Terminator. That was passable because Ar cause the Terminator itself doesn't need like a huge vo range of emotions because he's, he's literally a robot. So, I mean... <laughs> But Homelander, goddammit, man. Please. Because I remember I remember hearing him in Call of Duty Warzone, and that was fucking atrocious, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like you found some random guy and said, yo, do these lines for Homelander. Yeah. All right, fuck this. Homelander, what you got? This is probably only like, what? Yes, yeah, barely even a minute. So, I mean, I don't know what we're going to get. It's not, it's not an official trailer, but I'm just, I, I just want to see what's going on. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> yes, we come to expect that from Mortal Kombat. <sighs> ah, the milk. Of course the mech. Oh my god, the, the lip. Yeah. That fucking Farah? That's Farah. It's only Farah, no Tor. You have chosen oh my god, look at his face. God. No, you have. <laughs> oh, oh. That sounds like something, uh... Oh, yeah, once again, lasering. Even his intro, lasering. Because he's so lazy. He's lasering. Lazy lasering. And once again, even a fa fatality. Lasering. That's what he did to, uh, what's her name? Ah, okay, I get that reference, yeah. So yeah, like I said, we weren't gonna get much from this anyways, but what we did get, okay, he's, like I said, like I said, like I said, he's lasering people, and that's all he does, right? That's all he fucking does. In his intro, he lasered the ground. In his, uh, fatality, he did, uh, he did the, you know, like what he did to that, the woman, what was the woman? The hot milf, what was her name? In the first season? His main squeeze? His main <laughs> squeeze? Honk honk. What was her name? Madeline Stillwell, there you go. Yeah, the, you know how he like how he grabbed her head and just like did it really precisely because because he can control his laser beam intensity, right? He can make it like full on fucking cyclops, like eviscerate, or he can make it very fine and precise, right? So th that's what he seemed to do. He seemed to because he wanted to hurt you first, right? That's what happened. I think he did it slowly so it can burn inside your frontal cortex, eyes socket, whatever the fuck, and blew your head off. And then he punched you into the sky, and then. The plane, obviously being the reference to the first episode where he took down that plane. I wonder, that wasn't the entire fr fatality, I feel like. I feel like there's more to that, right? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> but actually, the fatality again. Hold up. So, he's, yeah, he lasers you. And then, yeah, he head blows off. And then, yeah, he punches you. Is he as kicked up as Omni-Man? That's the question. See, now, we couldn't really exactly get... Uh, to see like if it was Anthony Starr playing because he only said one line, right? One line saying, no, I am. I think that's what he said. No, no, no. He said, no, you are. So Liu Kang said, you are fighting a god or some shit. And then Homelander said, no, you are. 
because 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 he called himself god all the time right right because you need me you need me to save you who else possibly can you're not the real heroes i'm the real hero you know what i'm saying we don't know still if it's anthony star maybe i could do some digging but it, it for, for what it's worth it sounds pretty good if it's not anthony star that sounds pretty good if it is anthony star then it's anthony star you know what i'm saying um i feel like i'm saying his name wrong i feel like his name is anthony isn't it did i just fuck up i think i did anyways um Farah, no tour apparently yeah that's Farah from mkx coming back as a cameo fighter right Farah tour was actually pretty fun in mkx because like Farah would just like run around and she would have her specific moves and most of the time it would be like tour if he's a lackey variation it's only tour right yeah tour was a fucking beast man but Farah and tour why the fuck not um yeah this is cool i guess why the fuck not Farah? okay cool interesting see how she plays once again this is not really a gameplay trailer it's just a little snippet of what to expect that hey home is coming so Get ready. Yeah, we've been waiting for like long enough, you dumb shit. And Takita still ain't here. What the fuck? How long how long are we have to wait for him? Hmm? Another five months? Damn another realm. Sip your shit up, man. What the fuck is you? You're not you're not making Injustice 3, are you? So what else are you doing? Another realm, all you're working on is MK1. So what what the fuck? What what's what, what's going on? Huh? And but, but speaking of, where the fuck is Injustice 3? Could use that shit right about now. I don't know. But looking at <clears throat> MK1's optimization, I'm not too optimistic about uh, injustice 3 at this point it's really it's really uh stupid and foolish to be optimistic for games right because game developers are really quick to just shatter your trust you know what i'm saying it happens often right like i'm i'm low-key kind of excited for assassin's creed red right and that doesn't happen often because i mean assassin's creed has been pretty stagnant and formulaic for quite a while now and it's kind of really annoying i, I just I, I actually know i just got the platinum yesterday for valhalla so yeah <laughs> I'm done that game. I'm gonna play Mirage soon. I'm probably gonna buy it like right now because I'm done Valhalla. I still do the Forgotten Saga and that's pretty much it. I already got the Platinum. What the fuck else do I care? I got like 250 hours on that. You know what I'm saying? Which I know to some people is nothing. Some people they've got like 500. I'm like, how the fuck? Are you? Anyways, I'm, I, I digress, right? Okay. Yeah, I mean, fucking Homelander, dude. What the shit? I basically broke it down. He's lasering people like I said he would because very characteristic. And say what you want. I said it before, I said it again. Say what you want about NRS and their games. They always nail the guest characters, always. 100% right the guest characters feel like they're the guest characters they feel like justice has been done to them you know what i'm saying <coughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean i guess I'll, i need to see an actual official trailer all right and then we'll talk right and I, I, obviously obviously the first thing people are going to do is do omni man versus homelander but we know how it's going to end omni man is going to absolutely fucking obliterate homelander that man child that is homelander right and even even death battle aside you know what i'm saying even that death battle episode aside, it's pretty obvious who wins. I mean, you're talking about one guy who's a thousand-year-old warrior who's conquered worlds. He's a fucking conqueror of this badass warrior race. And then you got this guy who's born in a fucking test tube and who's never actually had to struggle for anything in his life because he's always been the strongest. So who the fuck do you think is going to win? You know what I'm saying, bro? It's not even funny. But those um, Holander dick riders can, um, you know, they can fulfill their fantasies by performing a fatality using homelander on omni man so lucky you but anyways that was the homelander it was delicious yummers